everything's fine because there's merch in the store. Yeah. <laughs> merch in the store. We're all stuck inside and we miss the outdoors. Wait, don't think about that. Stop thinking about that. Yeah. There's merch in the store. Comfy and cute and great in the shower. I mean, what? I miss human touch. Merch in the store. New merch in the store. I live in a house with three other roommates. Casey is the hot one. Brian is the serious one. And Sarah is the girl. And that just leaves me. I'm the annoying one. Every housing situation needs an annoying roommate, a common enemy to bring everyone else together, and I've really embraced my role in the household. Being annoying is an art to me. Now sure, I do the basic messy roommate stuff. I never take out the trash, I leave my stuff everywhere, I hoard dirty dishes, but being annoying is about more than just making a little mess. I'm constantly challenging myself on ways to be as annoying as possible, and I think my roommates really take notice of my creativity and drive. Dan! Occupied! Dude, what are you even doing in there? You've been in there for like an hour! I'm shaving! Sh shaving what?! I didn't say me, I'm shaving someone else. Oh my god, what? <sighs> so since I'm a full-time streamer and part-time model, the energy bill gets pretty high, so... Uh, we needed another roommate, so we went on Craigslist, as everyone does, and that's where we found Dan! You know, living with Dan is really difficult. He's really inconsiderate with everyone's stuff, and whenever we try to confront him about it, he always denies everything. Ah yes, I found that denying my annoying behavior multiplies its effect. Dan is the worst. He has no respect for shared spaces whatsoever. He treats the whole house like it's his bedroom. He's constantly using speakerphone. <laughs> oh my god, okay, try one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Is you getting this? He throws parties without letting anyone know, and he constantly walks around in various states of undress. It's gross. I've been thinking of moving out and- wait, the girl? That's seriously my title? I have like other traits, you know. Did that annoy her? Uh, yeah. Can you give me another descriptor? Oh. I guess she's kind of athletic? I mean, yeah, I guess I'm kind of athletic. Anyway, I just, I can't handle living with Dan anymore. I can't even feel comfortable in my own home. It's simply barbaric. I've never met a being this disgusting. And I've been inside of Dave and Buster's. Sarah, I had the worst day and I just need to vent. Oh. Everybody at work was mean to me because I ate the cake that was in the fridge and it turned out it was for her birthday. And now everybody's mad at me. I just wanted to go home to all my oh. friends with Jim. Busy. Yeah. And all I wanted to do is see if you wanted to do some online gaming, but your headphones don't have a microphone, so we oh. can't talk competitively. And there's no way we're gonna be able to win any game mode. Capture the flag, test match, king of the hill. I try to leave all the lights off to conserve energy. Dan likes to leave all the lights on because ghosts. Whenever I'm on my streams, he always jumps in the back and he's like, I'm doing a Fortnite. I'm doing a fortnight. Just once, I'd love to come home to a bathroom that doesn't smell like death. He doesn't even realize I'm playing Apex Legends. Come on. He's scheduled his daily poops for an hour before I get home. And he takes an hour. Hold on, I'm trying to stunt real quick. Give me a second, I'm gonna see if I can get this on my head. Yeah. yeah. So I've got like my, my blanket draped on my feet like a Mother Teresa situation. I'm trying to kick it onto my head into a proper like nun's habit or like a Batman cowl. Mm. Did it work? Yeah, that would time it worked. It landed perfectly on my head. The fact that his diet is, I think, half cheese balls and the other half Brussels sprouts and salsa is ju I just got a text from Brian. He's calling a house meeting to discuss my behavior. A house meeting? It, okay, if a passive aggressive note is like having my own exhibit, house meeting is like the goddamn Oh, look at you guys all sitting together. That's so sweet. You're late. Is that my robe? Yeah. So what's going on, you guys? Well, we all talked and we've all unanimously decided that you need to go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, 
Okay, um, are you sure? Yes, we're sure! Easy, easy, we need you out by the end of the month and not a day later, okay? Okay, I understand. Good. Hey, we all chipped in for the TV, so I'll be taking my quarter with me. Oh. Do you guys just want to sort of play it like whatever dishes are in anybody's room, that's what you get to keep? All the dishes. Whatever, I've been whatever, using whatever, Dixie whatever, whatever gets them out. Why would I be mad? This is my Sistine Chapel. And I've already got another place lined up. I've been complaining about my crazy roommates to one of my coworkers. He offered to let me move into his house for free. He hasn't told his wife yet. But I think if I play my cards right, I can save their marriage. Does anyone know where to get bed bugs? Anyone? I know for sure you got a bug guy. Dan has the manners of a howler monkey, which is actually kind of offensive for me to say because I worked at the San Diego Zoo last summer. Let's just put it this way. Dan makes the howler monkey exhibit at the San Diego Zoo look like a Freemason lodge. He's always using all of my men's care products and he always puts them back in the wrong way. And look, Dan, I have them ordered in a very specific way. I can't put on my toner after I put on my setting spray. It's simple science. Is that how makeup works? Oh. Toner, setting sprays, that's not the same thing, right? <laughs> Come on, dude, I've been holding, I'm prairie dogging right now. I just, I really need to lit loose and this is the only bathroom. Dude, I'm so close to finishing up. It's gonna take even longer if I have to set up again. Oh my God, how, okay, how much longer? 30, 40 minutes tops. Uh, well, is there like a bucket? Somewhere that you know of? The world is your bucket, my oh, friend. We God. do have a backyard. Oh no, not again. I don't believe Dan has parents because I don't think there's a human womb on earth that could manifest the Lovecraftian nightmare that is Dan. You want something? No. Want no, I don't want, I don't want. Dan is the human embodiment of a Carl's Jr. I tried to have Dan involuntarily committed, but when I described his behavior, the state hospital said that he would only further the insanity of the other patients. He likes to act like my friends are his friends when he doesn't even remember any of their names. I don't think he even tries. Like my friend, Deborah, he calls her Kelly. And also, and also, and also Casey's computer can't handle the games I wanna play. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> And then it went into like a Shakira. I was like, It was like that, right? It was my month to buy toilet paper last month. So this month, since it's Sarah, if you could buy me a new thing of toilet paper, <laughs> it's the least you could do since I, you know, will be moving out. Such little notice. Are you ultra soft or ultra strong? Um, I'm definitely ultra soft. Also, two ply. Anything less than two ply, I will come back here. I will stay forever. Actually, I have to check our tenant agreement. Maybe that's not enough notice. A month is fine. It's a little less than a month though, because we're a few days in. I'm so sorry. I hate to be that guy, but like, you do have to stand up for what's right. Hey, my dad's a lawyer, so. That's great. I'll hire him. <sighs> he figured it out. Oh, hello. It's Dan again, the most annoying roommate. I'm here in my new home. No, not the one I referred to in the video. Yet another one. It's been quite the month. And I have a gift for you. It's not the socks I've left outside your doorway or the tuna cans that I've lovingly hidden under the sink. No, no. It's yet another video from Smosh that YouTube themselves have picked out for you. All you have to do is click on it just over here. Oh, how delightful. How annoying.